Hello, 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 hello. This is the, the nightcap. It's the DM nightcap of the game of the Pacers and the Knicks. And we're going to talk about the rest of the series as well. Plus, I'm gonna, we're going to sprinkle in some um, Nets and Vince Carter talk because Vince Carter was a Raptor. And it's kind of weird that the Nets, we'll talk about that as well. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of some NBA draft. And just to see, is Mikel Bridges a person that a team would want to get? Is it equivalent to number one pick? Who's the number one pick equivalent to? I did see that someone said that the number one pick is basically getting Tobias Harris, which seems mm-hmm. like a diss to Tobias Harris, but like, you know, you don't go into Tobias is a solid player. He's not a superstar. He's a solid player. So I think that's what they're trying to say for the number one world pick. I also, we should talk about some Bronny because I just saw a, a report of what people were talking about Bronny and it's kind of, I don't know. I, I, I want to get your take on that. But before we start, how is everything? You already know. Every day above ground. Of course, of course. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the DM podcast. Like I said, this is the nightcap of the NBA games for it. The one thing me and you were asking for was we wanted we wanted four game sevens. We wanted four. But, of course, Cleveland decided to just stop playing their players. And yeah. everyone just said, you know what, we're just going to take the day off. And Cleveland lost, even though they're pretty competitive. And we'll get to that series very briefly, because what's the point uh, about talking about that series? But ultimately, what just happened tonight as we speak were the Knicks and the Spurs. I see Spurs, Knicks, and the Pacers in a a game that was like, you know, I kind of watched the – I'm a little superstitious. I I want the Spurs to win. So, I don't know, Spurs again, I don't know why I keep thinking – I don't know why I have Spurs in my brain. Maybe I'm watching something that Spurs, but I think we were talking about who won titles, and I kept thinking Spurs after Spurs. No, the Pacers, the Pacers just won. They won by double digits. They kind of led throughout the whole game. Shouts out to my best friend in the world, Pascal Siakam. He, they gave him the ball. They finally gave him the ball, let him control the pace, and the Pacers won. I think Halliburton was pretty good uh, this game. You know, the stats will tell you that, like, you know, Brunson was really good and everyone else, he, he was I. Right. He was I. Right. The, the fourth quarter, he shot a lot better. But before that, it wasn't that great um, of, of a game. I'll give you some Halliburton. Halliburton shot 12 times uh, with 15 points. Nemhart had 15. Turner had 17. Pascal had 25, 7, and 5. Um, of course, TJ McConnell is, like, when, I, I don't know who this guy becomes, Jamal Crawford, all of a sudden. Mm. And he uh, he had 15 points, 7 of 13. It was a good, sco- was a good win for the Pacers. Um, you know, now we're going to game seven. There's not much to talk about game six. Let's go straight to game seven. First of all, how exciting has this series been? This is the most exciting series in the NBA right now, in my opinion. I love how Pacers are playing, right? Questionable shots, like I said last podcast, but still, they're they're open shots. Yep. They have they they move the ball. It's not like they're taking bad shots or questionable shots, as I say, and it's contested. They're taking quick shots early on the shot clock, but they're moving the ball. Yeah. Credit Halliburton on a lot of outlet passes in the series in general, getting his guys easy buckets. Shout out MT, Miles Turner. I'm really getting to see his his skills on display, and he's really making right. a he's really making a. <laughs> I can't lie, he's more agile than I thought he would be. He's a little bit more quicker. His shooting is better than I thought it would be too. Like really watching him in the series now, right? Because yeah. I wasn't watching Pacer games, right? I know you weren't either like that. So, but actually now when you're watching the game. Right. I'm loving what I'm seeing. And we already know what we're gonna get from Spicy P. Right. As long as he gets the ball. As long as he gets the ball. You know what I mean? That in and out, that little spin move off the glass. You know, he's fundamentally sound. Yeah, you know, Spicy P. So I'm loving this series. I'm loving how it's going to game seven. But yeah. I do think the Knicks are going to win in game seven. I don't think it's going to be blowout, though. I think it's if be if it's a close game, Knicks are going to win. For, they just like they they love the close game. Now the one thing that we did see in this game is that Josh Hart he left with like an abdominal um like strain or, or hurt. Let's I want to give the 
abdominal soreness. Yeah. So he could be okay for game seven. And he's going to play game seven. He's not going to not play game seven. He's going to give it all he got for, for game seven. But, you know, pardon the pun that we've all said, he is the heart and soul of this team. He really is. When he's going, it's hard to beat this team ultimately uh, when he's on, on, on point. So I'm curious to see how healthy he's going to be. If he's going to be somebody you attack, because if you, if you have him on a mismatch, he can't go as hard as he once did. And you don't want to tear your abdominal. You don't want to do all that. You want to expect him to go under for his rebounds. Right. 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 If you're a betting person, yeah, definitely expect the under. He had eight rebounds and like, See, when he has a good rebounding game, like, the, the series is different. I'm quickly looking at um Hartenstein's assist. The man has six assists. He led the team in assists. I didn't he, know he really he had that in that the a game. Couple, he, he did that another time in the series, I believe. I think he had, like, six assists already got in the series. That's not bad. That's, like, that's something you wouldn't uh necessarily expect from him. At least yeah. I wouldn't expect that from him. So that's kind of tough to him. But even to go back to what you said about Miles Turner, like, I remember Miles Turner when the Raptors faced the Pacers in, like, I want to say 2016, like when it went to a game, uh, 2016, 2017, when it went to a game seven. But like overall, Miles Turner was kind of killing it. Like, and he was like a rookie at that time. And he was hitting jumpers and things like that. I've always thought to myself, he's a like a good solid player. I think he's, he's been quality. the best pacer. He's been the most consistent scorer on uh, this team yeah. throughout the whole uh, series. His three-point shot is good. Um, yes. I think overall, he's 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 been good. But I have to agree with you. If it's a close game, the Knicks are going to win. They're going to win. And if Josh Hart is at least at, like, and no one's fully healthy, but if he's at, like, what? What would you say? 70%? 75, 75, yeah. yeah. 75%? Yeah. 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 Then then the, the, the should be good. And, oh, I don't know what the betting odds are going to be for Brunson's points. <sighs> should we call a 60-burger? Should we call... I don't know. What do you think? I didn't see the game today. How much did he drop today? I didn't even see. He dropped 28. In the garden closeout, he's definitely going above 45. He's going above 45. I think they should see the fact that this guy, when it comes to, uh, like, this postseason, he's 33 points. Um, I I think when when it comes to this, like, he's going to – he may shoot like 40 times. He he really may shoot 40 times. In in the wins, in one win, he's he had 44. The other win, he had 29. Uh like he he really may um I think he's gonna go for a lot. The first game, what did he have? First game he had 43, 29, then he had 44. And this is game seven, which every point counts. You're you're holding the ball a little bit longer. If it's the next type of game for a game seven, this may be a 95 88 ball game. Yeah, 98. Some old school shit. He may score okay 50. With that. I'm okay with that, though. I'm okay with that. Because there's defense, there's physicality. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to have a rest of letting these guys play, though, in the playoffs. I'm not going to lie. Like a lot, a lot of physicality. You see a lot of guys just on the ground, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then you see Joe, hey, let me look at the ref Tatum, brother. Like, hey, yeah. And the ref is just like, come on, man. Like, team needs you type shit. Like, get up type shit. Yeah, bro. it's a playoffs, man. Like, the type of player I would be playoff time, I would tell the ref, like, yo, we're not trying to kill each other. We're trying to win a title. Like, we're trying to win a title. So just allow us to play defense. Facts, facts. Like, Right. Let us do our thing. Like, we're not going to – like, if a man's going for a layup, I may just grab him. Well, like, no so, easy layup. Just grab well, him, let him drop. But they, they get too tight with the reviewing as, like, flavor and one flavor. Too. It's like the wind up and, like, nah. nah. It's just it's a hard time. Just hard yeah. Time. Like, regular season, you're right. Like, do your thing. It's regular season. Call it whatever. But playoff time, we're all trying to get bread. Winning a title means, like, additional bread. It's and it's, it's like bragging rights for some people it could be Hall of Fame cases. It's it's yeah. a lot of stuff, yes. right? So it's, contract, it's, right? It's, With it's a lot different. of bread, not the bonus for the contract bread too, right? Right, right. Shout out to right. Bruce Brown, shout out Bruce Brown. Where you at? Yeah, there's rumors that Bruce Brown um 
Uh, the, the reps are going to try to train him within next month. Um, they're they're going to prioritize keeping Gary Trent Jr., which they should, um, over a Bruce Brown. Like I like Bruce Brown. He's just not for this team. He isn't. He isn't. Not for this team. But, you know, that's a – the Raptors are a topic of major frustration. But it is what it is. They lost their draft pick, which I'm happy about. Okay, so you're going to predict the Knicks are going to win. I'm going to have to uh, – I don't want to agree, so I'm actually hoping the Pacers win. I actually don't want the Knicks to win. I want Pascal really? to make it as far as uh, as he can. So I'm going to cheer on the, the, the Pacers. But the Knicks thing's like – it's all about facing Boston, right? And I'm just like, I just, just for health, health, I'd rather the Pacers because the Knicks don't got, of course, they don't got Randall. Of course, they don't got Mitchell Robinson. But damn, like, they, they may not have Josh Hart. They don't have OG. Like, I just want health. Like, I want, like, a team that's more healthy than not uh, to play Boston because you, you, then Boston's really, <laughs> really going to have that easy of a, of a playoff run. I don't want to see that. Like, you have a Miami Heat team missing how many players? Yeah. There's two stars. You're all-star. Yeah. You're pit bull guard. Yeah. Right? Boston's just walked through against the Cavs with some injuries already. Right? Walk through. So yeah. that's why it's been the Boston series have been boring. Boring. Because not because of how they play, but because of the health. Right? Even Crispy's out. Crispy. KP. Shout out KP. I call him oh, Crispy though. Even KP is out. They say he may be back. If he's back, it'll be a game three. If he comes back, it'll be a game three. Um but I, I want to – so we can go to Boston and, and Cleveland real quick. The thing with them is that, like like you said, Donovan was gone for, like, two games. I think that this could have been a six-game series. If, like, Donovan played I, – I, it's weird how without Donovan, the scores were much closer. But I think we can both tell Boston, like, plays down to their competition. Yes. And that's a that's already an issue that they do. But they play way too down to their competition. Crazy. Like, because so, man, I don't know. I, I kind of think that's uh, not a good thing, but who knows? And they don't have a switch like that. They think they have a switch where they don't have a switch. Like Tatum, Brown, the Celtics feel like, and, and I've heard this, other guys talk about this. They feel like their talent is going to carry them through. Their talent, yeah. their talent is going to win them games. It'll win you games. It'll give you a good season, but to win rings? Come on. And Joe yeah. Mazzulla sh- is should be drilling on these guys' head, but they're young, right? The two leaders that you guys squatted at 25. And I, I think Boston, like, it depends on who they face. If they're facing, like, if they're facing a, a team like Denver, Denver's winning. If they face a team like Minnesota, I don't know, I think Minnesota can win that too. Face a team like Dallas. Maybe they can beat Dallas. Maybe they can beat, I don't know. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't actually, I can't say I truly believe they can beat anyone but OKC right now. Really? That's the only Western Conference team I can say definitively, yes, the Boston can beat them. Everyone else, I don't I don't believe yet. Boston I healthy. Part of the competition. KP. Boston healthy with KP, they're beating the Mavericks. Yeah, they're you're beating, probably right. They're beating the Mavericks. And they're beating OKC. Yeah. But Minnesota and Nuggets, I can say, I don't know. Yeah. Nuggets, n- not – this is truly the the hardest series for the Nuggets. This is – they – the Nuggets team is so good, but this Minnesota team just can compete with them. They just can. Really, the thing about the Minnesota team, they really do have a lot of length. In the summer, if you really take it in, aside from yeah. comedy, like – Ant Man's what six four, yeah, right six five probably sometimes yeah six five and his arms are looking long like Inspector Gadget right there's length like there you got McDaniel's yeah right you got Towns you got Gobert right Conley's the only guy that's what six one right and, and he does so much for that team he was passing up open shots to give Ant Man a like it's just you uh, he's a veteran. He's yeah. he's played with Zebo. 
He's played with yeah. different types of personalities. Yeah. To, you know what I mean? So you need he to. He knows how to make that. a team better. Yeah. It's not about names. Shout out to Phoenix. You know what? Now that you, you said, you mentioned Zebo, I'm like, well, you know what? Conley knows how to play with two bigs. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people know that. They don't know how to play with two bigs. He played with Zebo and Marcus Saw at the same time. Like, yes. it's difficult to play with two bigs, and he did it. And they were clogging up the paint, too, because they were not outside shooting threes. And mm-hmm. Tony Allen was there, too. He was not a gunner. Not at all. Not at all. Mark was was more shooting threes, but it wasn't, like, not at the level that these guys shoot threes now. Not like a currently mm-hmm. Towns shooting threes. Yeah. Towns is shooting more threes than in the bit something. I'm seeing yeah. this. You, this guy knows he's seven foot. Yeah. He knows <laughs> He knows that. Carlton Towns is a is a tricky one. He's a tricky one for sure, for sure. The Boston series, to even go back to the uh, Boston, will be the, the game one to be on Tuesday. Now, I, I want to quickly ask you about these. There's a bunch of rumors about the Cavs, like a bunch. Like once they lost, there's a rumor that Evan Mobley didn't want to get drafted by the Cavs. That's one rumor. Uh, that's whatever. I don't think a lot of teams – I think when you're young, you kind of want to join certain teams until you're like, you know what, I'm just happy to be in the NBA. And once you see all the fan love, you kind of just take take it in. Um, like, I don't think Scotty's first choice was the, was the Raptors. Like, I don't I don't think that was his first choice. Um, then another rumor was that Donovan Mitchell's unhappy. He feels the team is immature. He tweeted back and he denied it. He's like, no, that's not true. Like, I love my teammates. I obviously we don't know Dom and Mitchell, but do I understand why someone would think his team is immature? I think Donovan Mitchell was the only one truly read him and um Max Struz and uh what's the, what's the other one's name? The other big kind of white guy. Oh um Niang. Niang. I feel like th- those were the most ready for this series. Yeah. Like in my cause I, but those are the most playoff experience yeah. on the team. So I think they were the most ready. Uh so there was a rumor about that. And then the last rumor that they had was um that Garland wants like they, they want they have to split him. If Mitchell stays, Garland wants to leave. Now that rumor, let's talk about. Do you see a Darius Garland want like why do you think Darius Garland would want to leave? Like, do you think there's an issue? Like, you're not Batman. Neither is Mitchell, right? But Mitchell is more capable of being a Batman, closer to the role of being a Batman than you, right? So you guys need to focus on building. Right now, you guys got you guys got, you guys guys got got kicked out of the playoffs on one game in the second round, right? So you guys should be focusing on how do we get better collectively, right? right? That's my opinion with that still, like, if that's if that if that's true, right? God wanted to leave, like you just signed an extension. This is what your fourth year in the league, right? You're still yeah. you're coming in, you still didn't reach your potential yet. There's still there's still you didn't reach your ceiling yet. So Allen was injured. You guys had some injuries, right? Karis Levert was inconsistent, right? He'll score 20, then he'll score like eight in the next game, right? So right. It's, there's factors. Okuro provided some good minutes at times, right? So it, there's just factors, right? You can't just give up on something after one, two year. Like, you can't, right? Yeah, and I think sometimes you need, you need to kind of see that. You need to kind of see it through. Yeah, like at least run it back. This is the second time, the second season together? This right? is, yeah, but the other one was like more like, uh, yeah, uh, that was the first full season, but you have to see more time, I think. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, you need yeah, like you need to see through to me three full seasons of this experiment. You guys are trying to go, and in the playoffs, be healthy. Or healthy, I, healthy is key. Healthy is key, and also like you know the thing that a lot of teams don't realize. It's all about we need to talk about it all the time. It's about organization. The thing probably Garland wants to be the guy. He does. It's not him. He wants to be the guy, and you get it. He was the guy on Cleveland. Before they're like, oh, hey, we got a trade. Here's Donovan Mitchell. Can you, you like playing with well, Donovan Mitchell? Like, well, I'm Simon the guy. Sexton. Remember, it was Simon Sexton. Right. right. And then, like, but everyone knew it's Garland. He was an all star and everything. Yeah, right. Man. But now it's kind of like, okay, he has to watch Donovan Mitchell. So now I can, I see it from his point of view where he's like, this was my squad. I was an all star by yeah. myself. Yeah. Oh, but now this guy comes in. 
And now it's technically Mitchell's team, but there's so much rumors that he wants to go to New York. If I'm Garland's camp, you know, just uh, I kind of almost agree. Like, honestly, I don't want to play with Mitchell. I, he's taking too much of my shine, especially if I'm the talent of Garland. If I think I can be a next up type of guy. He's taking all my shots. Like, this man's shooting 25 times a game. I'm only shooting 12. I deserve to shoot 25. Right, like well, I want you need to understand that you take Struce shots, take Niang shots, take who, take, take some shots because you two have to make it work, in my opinion. Because you two are too dynamic for this. He has way too dynamic. You see what I'm saying? Garland yeah. is very shifty with the ball. Yeah, yeah. Very good playmaker. Mitchell performs in big games in the offs. Build around that. Cavaliers actually have two guys that you can put on billboard and be like, shit, we want to see these two play. Right? Yep. I think almost Mitchell needs to do a better job. Like, it's a two-way street. Like, you have to under you have to organize yourself. But then you got to look at a team like Dallas. They Everyone knows Luka. It's Luka. But everyone also knows it's Kyrie. They're both touching the ball just as much. Yeah, it really is. It really is like that. Luca's gonna get probably the final shot just because it's Luca's team. I do agree. They they have to come to an agreement that okay, this is this is this person's team. Like Paul George came to the agreement that final shot. Even if I'm, I have to be really cooking. But if I'm not, if I'm medium cooking, it's always gonna go to Kawhi. Kawhi is gonna be the the one for us. So I think Cleveland has to come to an understanding and be like, this is what it is. Mm-hmm. It's Donovan Mitchell's gonna gonna cook, but Donovan Mitchell also needs to do a better job of like being a leader. You want to be a top guy? Well, Bam or or what's it? Jimmy Butler, he's okay with scoring fourteen points a game. He's okay with it because he'll be like Tyler, get twenty five. Duncan is is feeling it tonight. Duncan, get twenty. Bam, do your thing. That's what I think. Also, like stars are willing Ooh. to do. They're yeah. willing to kind of take that step back to be like, okay, everyone get everyone get a touch, everyone get their touch. It's not always gonna be about like, look at you know the freaking MVP. Joker gets thirty points a game, but that man's also giving you twelve assists a game, right? While Murray's getting twenty five plus points, while sometimes um, Porter Jr. Like you said, I think you're correct. There's other shots to take. There's other shots to take. Ask everyone to like be like. Uh, that middle guy that does all the dirty work. Like Dallas has a bunch of dirty work players now. They do. They do. We're willing to do whatever. That's why they're where they are right now. Right. So I, I think I do see the point of running it back, but I can also definitely see Garland's point. Like maybe I don't want to play with Mitchell anymore. Maybe I want to move. But then the question is, what's the move? What's the team? You need to go to a team that needs a guard. So it wherever you're going, it's to me. You're, I can't, I'm not going to say rebuilding, right? But to me, teams that need guards, point guards, San Antonio, right? For example, New Orleans Pelicans, for example, right? Pelicans are in a better situation, but I, we hear that's a different, it's off topic with BI. No, yeah. no, I think it's on topic. I think, like, if you think about it, but Donovan Mitchell is what, what makes it all hurt. Like, would you, if you're the Pelicans, you wouldn't want Donovan Mitchell because he may hurt Zion. But you'll take Garland yes. because Garland can compliment Zion. Yes, yes. Right? So maybe you think of a a, a Garland and B.I. type of trade. But I'm also thinking, like, if Mitchell doesn't want to stay in Cleveland, why make a team that's centered around him? I would center around Garland. Which is true. Garland and Mobley. Trade him. Now, before he walks, and you get nothing. Right. Right. So, like, I think Cleveland Cleveland is a little stuck. Um, They're definitely stuck. I I don't know what their their next move is. But, yeah, I think you're right. Trade Donovan. He's the better one to trade. The other two guys are young. You still have Mobley and Garland. Much better just to build around those two guys. Mobley, I think a lot of people were really impressed this series with Mobley. He's not going to give you 25 points a game. Yeah, That's not him. Yeah, he's not that. But he's gonna give you like 15 points with some great defense. Yes. Couple and, blocks. Couple blocks. 
right? And what what else can you ask for in that sense? Um, let's go to the other series, the Minnesota and Denver series, which has been an absolute like great series. Yes, Denver got their asses whooped, whooped yesterday. They got their asses whooped. Uh, Minnesota came out. They showed out. They were up by like at one point. Was it 40 they were up by one point or 30, something like that? They were up by a lot. One by 45. One one by 45. Yeah, so that means they were up by 50 at one point, which is crazy. Um, Everyone keeps talking about Joker not sitting down in the fourth quarter and just kind of watching the game and standing up and watching the game. To me, I don't know what you read into it. You don't read into it. But honestly, the game is on Sunday. What are you looking forward to see for this game? I'm looking forward to seeing Allen shooting threes. No, I'm, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this game, I'm looking forward to seeing Joker and Murray, the Nuggets, how they respond to getting slapped. Yeah. Four, five. I want to see how they respond, right? So, but you know they're going to respond, right? I mean, you're going to see how Porter's going to play. Right, how he's gonna shoot as well, right? So I just want to see how they're gonna play, right? How they're gonna respond. I want to know how Minnesota is gonna respond after thinking like, you know, we're big time now, we're gonna cruise. And they shouldn't think that way. They shouldn't yeah. think that way. I wonder if Ant Man's really still gonna put the foot, keep his foot on the gas, all gas, no brakes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's gonna be a game sevens are as long as it's not no lopsided victory. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I hope we get a good game seven. I think I think you're right. I think like um it's really gonna come down to which second guys has been better, Murray or Towns. Like which one has been better? Um when you have guys like Porter has has been really like not that great this season or this um playoffs. I think it's been pretty obvious that he's not their third guy. It's Aaron Gordon is their third guy. Uh, he showed it with the Lakers series. He's showing it now, but he needs to step up. Because he'll be or shooting. He's probably get traded. You feel like he could be on the trade block. Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking like yo for a guy like Porter. Some teams are very desperate. How desperate is Detroit? Because does Detroit not want to like get out of this funk and go to a playoff or have like at least a playing game? Imagine if Porter, you could trade him you to think that. Porter was gonna help him do that. I think it will help Cade with additional scoring. Like, he'll have someone else who can score. I can shoot, yeah. Which is right, he can give you a bucket or two. Doesn't play great defense, but can give you something. I don't know. I'm thinking, like, something for Detroit to do because I-, I think Detroit's future isn't that great. Um, and I'm not a big fan of Cade. So I'm just thinking what what maybe a Porter can do if they were to bring him on the squad, but I, I don't know what you trade him for. You I have to look at the talent. They have a lot of young talent. I'm not sure if they have the contracts to fully they have 60 million in the books. So they can actually take his contract because they have 60 mil and they're about to sign some bad contracts. If 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 there's I don't know what bad contracts it's not like there's a ton of guys unless James Harden is like, oh, there's 45 million dollars for three years. Cool. I'll take a four, a three year, a hundred and twenty mil with Detroit. As long as I'm getting the money, give me three months. I'll act like I don't care, and then they'll trade me again. Like he'll just, <laughs> just crazy. Like, so I, I I don't know. Uh, so who's winning the game? Team behind you. I, I yeah yeah. I honestly think whoever wins like has a chance to uh to win it all. Obviously, but. You know, when we get to our Dallas and, and OKC talk, I, I have something to say about Dallas. I really do. And we'll probably get to it right now. But, like, yeah, I, I want to say – I want to say just because I believe in Denver, like, them losing a game seven at home, like, yo. Be hard to believe if that happens, yeah. We have to watch that. That actually has to happen. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because, like, that's crazy. Denver losing a game seven at home. Jokic, like, Jokic is going to go crazy. Like, I think so. He's going to go crazy. Yeah, he's going to go home. He's going to be on that horse, just riding that horse around and round and round for hours. Just, you yeah. lost to Minnesota? We lost yeah. to Minnesota? Like, just... Yeah. And then I think with, um, and, and should be aggressive, 
but yeah. he has to like find a balance and not be like, oh, I got to score. Like I, I have, I'm going to shoot 30, 40 times. This. No, no, you got to, that has to be a fine balance. But I truly think it's Carlton Towns and Murray. <laughs> the one of them got to step up. That it's, it's their game. It's really their game. But yeah, I, like yeah, both I mean, Murray, Murray is Murray. Let me tell you something, Murray, he's going to ball. Yeah, gonna... you hope so. It's just Towns and the fucking foul trouble too. He makes a lot of mistakes. It's like he's a kid in the playground. Like, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Like, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah, he makes a lot of mistakes, and it's kind of annoying to watch sometimes. Okay, the OKC in Dallas one. Ooh. Got two game sevens. I think the simple question before we get, but let's just go straight to it. Will there be a third game seven on Monday, which would be OKC in Dallas? But will OKC force a game seven tomorrow, or is, or is Dallas winning the game? It's in Dallas. There will. It's in Dallas. Well, guess what? There will be a game seven because Dallas is not winning four straight. Well, the Dallas, no, they didn't win four straight. No. Yeah, it would just be two straight. It was two straight. Okay, okay. Yeah. No. No. It's going to be a game seven. I feel like he's going to come out of energy. I, I hope so. I, I know they're a young team, but you're hoping that they, they, they show something. This Dallas team is... There's a vibe to this team that I'm seeing that's making me think, like, is there more? Like, is if Luca's knee or whatever is okay and Kyrie's doing his thing and then P.J. Washington is being that, like, really good third guy and everyone's just working around them, I don't know, man. This team is, like, like I truly think this team could beat Boston. In a seven game series. You feel that way, huh? Yeah, I just think Luca's that dynamic. Like Luca's that dynamic that, that it can happen. I think Kyrie is a really good second guy to have on your squad, especially yeah. when he's engaged. The best, the best second guy to have on right. your squad. Like when, when he's engaged, he's like perfect. And he is engaged. Right. He's playing defense, like Really good defense. I'm seeing him to the floor diving for loose balls first. And I'm like, is this the same Kyrie Irving? Yeah, like he's the, – the, the squad is good. Derek Lively has been good. Uh, Daniel Gafford has been really good for them. So those um, – you need good role players, system players. You do. Like that. You do. Um, What's his name? Uh, Hardaway has been good. Like – Derrick Jones Jr. has been a good defensive player. I can't believe like, Derrick Jones Jr. has a real has a three ball somewhat now. It's kind of crazy. Like, like they've been pretty good, yeah. right? So, and they're making they're making OKC look young, which is funny. But they are young, but they're it's like they're showing their ages. Yeah, and you can see in the possessions because I was taking them last game. I'm just seeing the possessions, and I'm like, they just didn't know there was no flow. They didn't know what to do. Just right. random screens. The spacing was kind of off sometimes. I'm like, Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams just like just he hasn't like, had a good series at all. Yeah, just just taking like just you're taking that shot for real. Like, yeah, he Shea was season. bailing these guys out a lot of times, getting to the line and shit the whole time. Bailing, right, the whole so. time he's just bailing him out, bailing him out, bailing him out. And then Chet, uh, not Chet. Um, Chet has been okay, but they clearly need a center. Like it's. Clear as day, they should go for a center. Uh, with their draft pick, they they could potentially trade their like mo some most of their draft picks and then try mm -hmm. to trade up to get like the UConn uh, center. I forgot his name, but um, they can get the UConn center or you go for like I I've been saying. Let's see what they can do if they could trade with the Raptors to get uh what's his name uh Pirtle, but that's just a a pipe dream. Mm -hmm. Um, they just need a center. They need a big. They need an actual to get Pirtle. big. Trade picks to get Pirtle? That's not bad. You have to, the thing is, you have to trade a contract, but they don't, in order for them to do it, ultimately, they would have to trade uh, Dort because Dort's the only person besides Shea making actual money. No one else is. Like, everyone's making, like, nothing. Right? Because all rookies. They're all, yeah, rookies. all rookie contracts. Like, that, that they, they don't have the, yeah, they, they, they don't have it. So, um, yeah, and then uh, Giddy. You know, there's so much reports. Every, like, end of the game, especially when they win, they do those, like, at the end of the – they talk to the announcer. It's like the whole squad. They're mm -hmm. laughing. They have good vibes. 
Giddy multiple times is the only one that's not there. Are you serious? Yeah, he's never there. He got benched too, right? You've been on harping on Giddy's performance the whole time. You you've been saying that Giddy needs to perform better. He hasn't. That's why they benched him. So what do you think is next for Giddy? For Giddy, it seems like the Giddy experiment is coming to an end. It seems like because this is, I believe, his fourth season. I want to say his fourth season. Yeah, because it has to be the same. No, he Scotty is three, right? Scotty's three seasons, so it has to be third. It has Giddy's to be third season. Yeah, because Scotty's third, and he came in the same draft as Scotty. The thing is, Giddy hasn't really gotten better since he's been a rookie. Like it's been yeah. the same sort of like hasn't got better handles, better passing, better defender, better right. shooting. The There's shooting's the awful. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Like they're letting him shoot, and he's smoking shots. Like when he hits a shot, it's like, "Whoa, we hit a shot!" Like, wow. But it's yeah, the shooting has been inconsistent. He's he just hasn't. He he's not the person I think they they thought he's supposed to be the point guard, right? Is yeah. he really a point guard? He's like a utility guy. Yeah, like he has the capability to be that utility guy. Yeah, yeah, he and needs then to be like, better. what team? Not that. Teams don't need a, a point guard. Teams need a point guard. But, like, what team is going to need a project as a point guard? A guy who's not ready as a point guard, if their team is ready, right? He has to be. He has to go to a team like, honestly, like probably Washington. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right? And a team that would be like, okay, like, we can we can give it another year or two. That's what we have to lose. We have Poole. We have Kuzma. Who knows how long that experiment's gonna last? So, right. So I think that's the type of squad he he would have to go to. But then, you're thinking about for Giddy's sake, you want this guy to go to Washington <laughs> and play with Kuzma and Poole? Where do you want him to go? Go to Miami? Where do you want no, him to go? I think Pat. I think, Pat you want to go to I think Pat Riley would kill him if he went to to Miami. I think Jimmy Butler would absolute ruin this guy's career. He would legit like he would want to quit. Some you don't want to quit if you play for those guys. We couldn't. Yeah, I think it, it sucks, right? But I, I'm hoping we get a. I'm gonna cheer on OKC tomorrow because I want. I want another game seven. I want three game sevens, man. I love it. I know. Since the Boston series is done, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Stupid Boston series. Stupid Eastern Conference. Just in general. Like I know people get injured. You can't do nothing about it. But like, damn, bro. Like everyone got injured. Like, you're telling me Dame and Giannis are both injured? You're telling me Jimmy and Rozier got injured? Like, oh, no, like, star like Embiid, Embiid was half good. Like, bro, that's, like, everyone's gone in the Eastern Conference. Boston's literally just going, like, who who wants to be the leading scorer today? You, you, <laughs> you Jason. <laughs> Derek, Derek, you can. Derek, guess what, Derek? You just lead the team. <laughs> like, just lead the team. Like, I don't know, man. I think it's been... Such a cakewalk. I'm glad the Eastern Conference has been, or the Western Conference has been way more exciting. I think we needed that. We needed something. Um, but that's it for the like the playoff series. I think you know we've dived dived into most of them. To get to other topics, Bronny James. There was a recent. Um, uh, it was Mark Spears. He he he's a like intelligent guy. Uh, who knows his ball a thousand percent he knows his stuff he has a bunch of connections he got like a text message he's saying it on nba countdown today that two executives from different teams one said that Bronny james is basically a worse a, a lesser version of davion mitchell from the sacramento king so pretty much all defense and like that's it and yeah. like and davion mitchell's offense isn't great so he's really like not that good. Another person said that he needs a lot of time. He's just not ready. But then I swear I've seen people drop him down in the mock and make him go second round, like late second round. So I feel like there's constantly different reports about where they think Bronny should go and can go. I think what makes it, what makes it worse is he's LeBron James' son. So that's what like the whole thing makes it uh, bad. But what is your thought process of like just Bronny James in general? Should he try to get out? The, the draft and go back a year is it just a g-league prospect like what's going on ronnie ain't ready he ain't ready for the nba in my opinion right nah. he could get ready yeah he could become ready eventually but it's not right now 
like what I seen at USC. He's not. And what someone said, and you're not even the fifth true. best player on your squad. He's a tweener. Yeah. Like he's a tweener. So that means he's not ready. Like and, it, and him, sorry, and him being a tweener, he's six one, they say without shoes. Yeah, right? six, yeah. Six, so yeah. is he a point guard or is he a shooting guard? He has to be a one. Like I he can't say he has to be a one because that's wrong. I don't want to box a player yeah. in. You have to be AI Kyrie elite. Right. To be playing the two. Right. And, and, how, and how many AI the two? Kyrie players have we? You know or I mean? you have to be Avery Bradley or a, a better version of David. Well, how long did Avery Bradley last? Right. He lasted six seasons, I think. Seven seasons. It wasn't that long. So, like, you have to be really good defensively or or something has to give. But if he's still struggling offensively the way he's struggling offensively, this is the NBA, okay? Like, you can't, we you can can't only try so hard. 6-1, six, 6-2, six, and you're struggling offensively is like... And you don't have a position. Because he's not a one. He does not play the one. He doesn't play the, the one at all. He doesn't have the ball handling skills. Yeah, yeah. He's explosive. I mean, he's explosive, but like... Someone said he doesn't have that much. Of, he's not that explosive, which I thought was kind of like nah, weird because I, I feel like when you watch him, he has a lot of explosiveness. But you see him throwing down those downs, it's explosive. He's cocked back, his lift. Yeah, I, I see it. I, I think he's explosive. I'm surprised that they don't think so. I'm surprised like reports are that they don't believe That's, so. He they say he doesn't shoot the three that well. I I see that. I see that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's uh he he's answering all the questions well. You can tell he's been media trained already. Well, yeah, yeah. Ronnie Pops, you better be. You better right. be saying it's my legacy. So he has all like those intangibles, but the other ones he doesn't have. Right? The ball ones that you need. So I don't know. I, I once again I, I feel bad for him because I think there's like over explanation of everything he does like his over explanation like everything he does it's like oh he kind of is good here mind you he was good on his the combine that they did he scored well he played defense he was good but it's like he's lebron james son so guess what not good enough everything you do is just not good enough yet you have to eclipse your pops i was hearing you, know, you would have to eclipse your pops so you're going to be known as so-and-so son but he can't. You cannot. You, he can't. He's gonna be what the second. He would have to be the second or third or first, whatever. Where you rank him the best player of all time? You can't. Yeah. You can't. It was it Steph Curry, Del Curry, right? It right. was it was Del's son up until he started going off in the league, and it's like okay, Steph Curry. Yep. Right. Le- Levar Ball said it. There's there's really no father son that are both great. Only. The the Bonds and the Griffins have been Griffies have been like equally better, but potentially the Suns were better, but not like significantly better. Yeah, yes. Like yeah. Barry Bonds' dad was good, and then Ken Griffey Junior. Uh, Senior was good, but may not have been son. I think it's hard. I think it's hard. I think it's the Ball was right about that. I, I, I'll say that. So I don't know. I I hope Bronny continues to impress people. But it's just going to be hard for him. And I don't think any team is going to want to. And Shams came out with a report already that if um, he does get drafted to a team, it doesn't mean LeBron's going to that team. Like, it doesn't mean it at all. Okay. Because that was the whole thing everyone was trying to, like, draft him. If he gets drafted to Cleveland, he'll rock and come home. If he gets drafted to Indiana, if he gets drafted, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. I I don't think that's going to happen. Um. So I, I want to talk about Vince Carter last, just about a quick some quick draft stuff that people were talking about. Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies, they have a top 10 pick, I believe. I think they have a top 10 pick. Let me just confirm. I it, With them having like a top 10 pick, there's already reports that they are going to um, trade the pick. And it makes sense, like, they don't need another young guy. No. They just don't. They have enough young guys. 
they have the number nine pick. Yeah. They may not need that number nine pick. Like, and there's already thing. Once again, we talked about Mikhail, uh, we need to talk about before the pod about Mikhail Bridges. Call Brooklyn. Here's a number nine pick, and we'll give you our two years from now pick. Call teams that need picks. Call Phoenix. Call Call Phoenix. You know, we'll give you, imagine like Phoenix, they, 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 I think they really think they're going to do something. I don't know what they're thinking, but they're thinking they're going to do something. But yeah, call, call teams that like need something. Like who wants a small forward? Like if I'm Brooklyn, I'm trained. I know they, they said they didn't want to, but if you're willing to give me draft picks and the Grizzlies have draft picks, they, they really do. They give me the number nine pick. Give me something else for Mikel Bridges. Like give me something. Because, yeah, the draft picks are going to be not all this year. There's going to be future, you know what I mean? So, because th- we already know this year's draft is, like, the number nine draft pick is, like, shit, it could be me. The number right. nine pick. So, so, it's like. Great. So, I think, um, yeah, if I'm the Grizzlies, like, I- I'm looking for sure. Why not? Why I keep it? And then Atlanta, I think, first was thinking of, of keeping it, but we kind of talked about that. I think a lot of people are in the consensus of, like, thanks, Trey. It's been fun. We'll find you a suitor, right? We'll find you a suitor. Yes. I would try to do a, like a three, four team trade and somehow see if you can get Brandon Ingram to a team. I don't know which team. One team, maybe Detroit. Maybe Detroit. Maybe you like a, a multiple team trade that makes Atlanta young again. They get some yeah. draft picks and you the keep thing it going. on Detroit is like they need a shooter. Like they need a shooter. Like he's, yeah. They they need something. I really so, want to see Trey Young going on the Pelicans or the Spurs. I can't lie. One of those yeah. teams. I think Trey Young and 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 Spurs. There's a report that like the Spurs are just are definitely not interested in Trey Young, but I think everyone says that if they give you a good deal, you thinking about it. You're thinking yeah. about it. Uh, I don't another know. third guy there, too. Spurs could possibly be Dylan Proof. They'll win 32 games, at least. Right. Right. And then there's also a report about um the Houston Rockets potentially trading their pick because they have the number three overall pick, which was Brooklyn's pick. But when they traded for James Harden, this is what happens. Biting them in the ass. Damn. Just biting them in the ass. So, yeah. So then... Now that number three pick, if you're Houston and you're you, hey, you are Houston mayor. You're you're Houston mayor. So for that team, are you trading that third overall pick? Now they definitely could uh Houston definitely could basically give Brooklyn back their picks and be like, we'll just take Mikel off here now. Now would you take Mikel on Houston? But I don't know. Uh, because I don't know what the package looks three. like. Because it's sure. what is it? Dylan Brooks plays the two or the three. He pays the three because it goes Fred, Jalen, Dylan. Um, I forgot who plays the four, and then Sangoon. Sangoon plays the five, right? Oh, probably. Um, what's his name? Jabari. Uh, Jabari Smith, Junior. Yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of young guys still. Right, oh, Bridges. Unless if you trade Bridges, you're trading him for Brooks because the contract okay. should match. And perhaps to put no, another I'm doing person that. I'm in doing that. I'm doing that. Brooks, like a one for one. So Brooks and probably one more person, but maybe not someone of significant. But Brooklyn's gonna want someone of significance. So you may have to trade like a uh, is it a Sir Tom Thompson that's on that squad. No, you may have I'm to trade out a sir. I'm not giving that. I'm not doing that package. Uh, or, uh, yeah, I think it's a sir or a man. Yeah, see, people don't want to add those guys in because you're like, man, I kind of like them. Yeah. Once they're in the shoot, it's game over. Like, it's yeah. game over. Because of athletic and defenders and they got the right yeah. Like, it's just game over. So, to, that means you won't trade McCall. We can put on a, like, is there a better minimum guy in Houston we could just throw in there and just. Then I want more picks. Then I got to get more picks. No, I'm not giving up a sewer. A sewer off the table is a sewer. Sangoon. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. But then I also think, okay, you get Mik- Mikel Bridges, right? You trade him for um, Brooks. What is this team? It's like, is this team that much better? Is the team that much better? 
the needle is moved, but not crazy. Right. Not crazy. Like they are better with Mikael Bridges, but he's a better shooter, better def- better. She's the better shooter, better defender. Not by a, a whole lot. Right. right. He is Someone better. said, "Um, what about like you trade like Jalen Green for Brooks? I mean Jalen Green for Bridges." And I'm like, once again, I don't know what that does for you. Why would Jalen Green want to go to, you know, Brooklyn? He even though he doesn't have a choice, but it's more like, why? Why would any of that happen? So, I don't know. I don't know. So I, I think it's one of those things you gotta, you gotta think it's about. It's yeah. in the right direction. They're just a couple, a couple players, just two players, the right to with a. The core keep Fred, right? I'll st- keep Fred Sangoon and you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you can always keep Fred and like you can always still have that draft pick as a because whoever's gonna be that third all pick, once again, this draft from what everyone says is more of a role player draft. Getting additional role players is not horrible. Getting guys who can like perform and participate isn't horrible. So why not get him? Um, the last thing I want to talk about was Vince Carter is his jersey will be retired from when we talked about them, the Brooklyn Nets. His jersey is going to be retired with the Brooklyn Nets. He played about like six seasons with Brooklyn. Uh, let's get some Vince Carter. He had a lot of games with Brooklyn and um, a lot of highlights. Like one of my favorite games I've ever watched or the one of the best, not my favorite because they lost, but one of the best games I've ever watched was um, them against uh, – he had five seasons with New Jersey. Um, with yeah. Toronto again. Like about five, right? Four and a half. Seven. Five. Seven years with Toronto. It's seven, right? Yeah. Shit. Okay. He averaged 23 points with um, Jersey, and I also averaged 23 points with, with Toronto. I thought he averaged one with Jersey overall, but – because I know yeah, he wants like, to be like, fine. 23.6 was like, what? that's nothing compared to 23.4. Um, played more game, obviously played more games in Toronto, but yeah, like, um, so his jersey game retired only for five seasons with New Jersey. He had a, a crazy game winner against Toronto. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's That was the game that's like one of my favorite games I've ever watched because of how like intense it was. Yep. But yeah, should, <laughs> should, we feel weird as Toronto fans that New Jersey, who had less time with him, he did not have the cultural, social impact that he had in Toronto, that he had in New Jersey, and they're already retiring his his jersey. Should we feel a type of way, or is it? Oh no, we're just waiting for Kyle Lowry to 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 you know eventually retire. What do you think? Man, that's some BS, man. Like, how? Like, re- real talk, real talk, real talk. The man sh- was in music videos when he was playing for the Raptors. I'm seeing yeah. him in rap videos and shit like that. Rap videos would he was in, in Toronto. Yeah. He made, he brought this buzz back to basketball. I'm not saying there was no buzz, right? But it was a lockout season. The 50 game, everyone's like, fuck, like CBA and all this shit, right? They didn't even have an all-star or dunk off his first season because it was shortened season, right? Right. So it was – they needed more excitement. The, the, what face of the league was there in 1999, 98, 99? Right. What was the face? Yeah. They were still looking. They, exactly. They were still looking for faces. There was no – Kobe wasn't Kobe at the time. Yeah. Ed wasn't Ed at the time. Nash wasn't Nash at the time. Jordan was out the league last year. Yeah. Right? No LeBron. Yeah. Dirk. Came in this. I think Dirk was a rookie with VC and Paul Pierce, yeah. same draft class. Yeah. Right. And Antoine Jameson, not like he was a, or anything like that. Wade yeah. and LeBron and Melo, they were a couple five years down. So yeah. it was like, it was they were no fucking way. high schoolers in grade 10 or something. Right. So he was out of time. And everyone can attest this out of time. He was the face of the league. He was 1000%. He was the face. Guy. He was he was top five in jersey sales. Yep. Top five shoe sales. Remember that Boeing, Boeing, Boeing? Yep. That was Toronto. I don't get how the Nets. The Nets. Like the Nets. 
did it before we did. New Jersey before Toronto. I feel like that's just a kind of a just that's disrespect to BC. I kind of feel that way. You know what I mean? Like that's they can't be doing like that. Like regardless of how he got traded and whatnot happened, but look what he did for the for Toronto. Yeah, because right? if he went to Vancouver, who knows if Toronto will still have a team because it's Toronto. But you hope so. We never know, man. You never know. He was a highlight. Because those days he was there was the Sky Dome, man. It wasn't real nice going to Sky Dome to watch ball games. Like it was kind of weird, right? He he was the highlight. He was legit the highlight. He was, he was that the highlight. This is how you knew there's so much I could say. Yeah. Like you he would go to Clippers, play in Los Angeles, the Clippers in 2000 or 1999, and they would want to see Vince. They yeah, to come to Toronto games because yeah. Vince was playing, and this is states Milwaukee. Day, people go to Milwaukee to see Vince because every top ten, Vince Carter being the top two in the yeah. top ten every time the Raptors would be playing. Yeah, it's the most iconic dunk off was VC T Mac Steve Francis that dunk off. Aside from the the Jordan and Dominique showdown and the Spud Webb. That's in the top three dunks of all time. Yeah. I, I truly think now that he's having his jersey retired with the Nets, I think it's almost like going to be weird if we did it this year. But I don't care. You got to do it now. You got to do it. Then do it, soon. do it soon. Do it soon. Don't right? fucking do it like three years later or some shit. And, and I think they were going to do it. I think they were because he's going to the Hall of Fame this year. So I think they were gonna do it, but the Nets just beat you to it. We have a Hall of Famer that we drafted, and we don't retire his jersey. And we're, we're gonna do it for for Kyle, which I get it. He was here, he won a title, blah blah blah. And like, I don't know, I just feel like here, it's a you, little kind of weird. You gonna retire Kawhi? He was here, he won a title. You gonna retire his jersey? I I think. Sorry, do you think they will? Going, I, I feel sometimes like. It, as Toronto people, we, we get too, like, we fantasize people too much a little bit. Yes. Like, do I think Kawhi's jersey should be retired? Like, yes, we, he won a title with us, but he didn't stay. Like, he didn't stay. Yeah. Like, why am I going to act like we, we have to, like, just marry the guy? Like, he didn't yeah. stay. Yeah. Like, one season, one season, one title. Like, the title is the reason why it's on top of retirement jersey. Title. Okay. That's the right. only reason. Like, if we don't win a title in the next, like, 15 seasons, okay, maybe you got to be like, thank you, Kawhi. We're going to retire. We're going to eventually retire his jersey. But we are. We are, for sure. So, for sure. Yeah, we're too um, much of, like, we're too in love with that title. Um, Someone said something, like, you know the Boston Celtics, when they won the 08 title, all they do is talk about the fact that they won the 08 title. The way they brag about it, oh, we're champions, da, 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 da. it's the most annoying thing. And I realized, oh, shit, we're turning into that. Because the way we talk about 2019 title, it, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're a champion, you're a champion. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, uh, Clay was hurt. Da, 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 da. KD. Clay was hurt in game six. The, 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 the one we won was game six. And he was hurt in game six. KD was. Never played the whole series except the one game, which was game five. Yep. And he got hurt in game five. And yep. most of y'all predicted Golden State to win. Like, majority picked Golden State. Only Toronto people probably thought that Toronto was going to win. But most majority, if I check ESPN, the, their prediction, I'm pretty confident that most of it's Golden State. When we were down 0-2 to the Bucks, it was like these were cooked. You're done, guys. You're getting swept, blah, blah, The quiet experience was fun. He's leaving to L.A. right now. And then we won. So I don't want to hear no, no thing. That's why I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe Kawhi does deserve it. Maybe he does deserve some accolades and, like, a jersey retirement. But I do think, like, I would personally do Vince, DeMar, and, yeah. um, and, and Kyle. No other Raptors. Bosh? You know, like seventy percent of me says, "Yeah, I would do Bosch," but then you can't. Then you are are you diminishing what it means to retire someone's jersey? 
Mm. Like every time someone was the face, because you, you know, you know, things you can't retire his jersey because he's he wore number four. And right now, our captain is wearing number four in Scotty Barnes. So you may not be able to retire his jersey. Okay. So that's okay. 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 Right. But I do almost agree that sometimes when you have a face uh, of a squad, do you per, like, do you boost them? But Bosch was like a good face for us, but he wasn't like, I think DeMar did more when he was a face. Vince did more when he was a face, Love. you know, a bunch of different guys did more. So I think you almost have to give them the shout more than you would give um, Chris Bosch. What but, about John Care Dog? What about JYD? Oh, like other players that are not like the number one guys. You know, the thing is, JYD does so much in, in the Toronto community. That's I think we should do something for him. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think you would have to retire jerseys, but can there be like in, in the Raptors, like a thank you to people? Like, thank you for like being a good ambassador for the Raptors. Like, we you. appreciate what you've done for the Raptors as an ambassador. Like, I wish it would be things like that because you're right. JYD, he was somebody that, like, he did a lot for the like – Like, to, on, I don't know, like, you know how that, like, Sprite Zone? Yeah. Like, do, like, JYD, like, the dog pound or something like that? Or the yeah, dog, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a section where it's, like, yeah. I don't know, something like – Yeah, I agree. Like, He's someone that, like – during that time of like it's funny every you go back in the day there was always like those top players and they all had like that enforcer type and that was like vince's enforcer like i always remember vince carter and jyd being right behind and being like anyone messing with him it, it's it, they're coming it's me you gotta deal with right mm -hmm. i'm the energy guy i'm the guy that you gotta you can't mess with um that's why i always find it funny like the pacers they, they got James uh, Johnson to be their enforcer. Because, okay, Tyus Halliburton is, is our number one guy. He's yeah. fucking nicer than anything. He's yeah. not. He doesn't want no smoke, really. Like, he'll get smoke, but he doesn't really want the smoke. Here's James Johnson. That guy wants the smoke. That guy will fucking take out a nunchucks, nunchucks and just yeah. shit. Right? <laughs> he wants it. He wants the smoke. So, I, I think... He's on the he's bench, I'm like, oh, yeah, he still is in the league. He's just yeah. there laughing, looking around, just chilling. Yeah, so I think that that's so that's that's, that's good. I, I'm I gotta really think about other players that are not like what we consider like the number one guy from for the Raptors. Probably because like Boston, a bunch of them they retire like a bunch of guys who aren't the number one guy, right? Like was it Tony Allen's jersey that got retired in um, or Zebo's number got retired in Memphis? I think Tony Allen's recently, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was him or, or Zebo. One of their uh, numbers got retired. And you think about it, like, this wasn't the face, but they meant so much to the team. The right? Some guys just mean so yeah. much to the team. Yeah. Like, I wish we can retire the whole 2019-2020 squad, too. That bubble squad, like, I say it all the time. If Pascal was the Pascal that we, we've seen today, and and he because he was going through so much at that time in 2020, that man is – they're going to the finals. They're they are beating Boston in game seven because Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown weren't ready yet at that time. They just weren't ready. They weren't. They... Right? And then they would have beat Miami. Yes, they definitely beat Miami. Miami would have got crushed by the Raptors at that time. We still the saw we still the bucket. Yeah, yeah. We had a little spot. We, also, we, right? we, had, we had seven mans. We had seven mans yeah. to the point that Ibaka and Gasol were the ones coming off the bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we we had a squad, man. I I really rate what the Raptors had uh previously, I should say. Yeah, no, I I really think that. But that's good. That's good. I you know I have to think about other players. I think JYD is a good choice of of somebody, you know. Like I really mess with Anthony Davis, uh not Anthony Davis. Was it, what was his name? Why do I want to say Anthony Davis? Who is who's Davis? Anthony Davis? Not Anthony Davis. Oh, Antonio Davis. Antonio Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like that was my guy. That was my center, bro. That was my guy. Him, uh, you know, I'm a huge norm guy, like a huge norm guy. That's my guy. Like, there's just so much guys that like JV. Original A D, Antonio mm -hmm. Davis, holy. Like J V. There's reports that the Pelicans are gonna trade JV. Cause um, I think they I don't know. 
I think they more want like a a shooting. Well, he can no. kind of shoot the three. I think they want a more mobile three point shooter, right? Like everyone wants Miles Turner. Miles Turner is a perfect center, as I said. Like he's the perfect center for all these teams with these shot blocking too. Yeah, like he like shoots threes. He does all that stuff, but that's we'll the ideal center to wait and see. For, like that's the ideal center. Like he is mobile because I didn't know he was that mobile. Yeah, he yeah. Under eight, he should be better than he is. Like he has agility. He's got a good form. Right. Good right. So, like, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of centers that, like, you know, like, if you just tweak this part of you, you can actually be good. But I think John Jay Eaton, if he was just – if he can accept that, like, I'm going to get I'm gonna get a bunch of rebounds, get a bunch of easy baskets, he'd be much better. Like, sometimes I think if people just accepted their role, they would be better. Just accept your role and you'd be fine. You're going to get a contract, trust, if you just accept your role, but – Maz don't want to do that all the time. But that's it for the pod. We went a, a long time, which is good. We had a lot of ball and a lot of just conversations to talk about. We're hoping, fingers crossed, that the OKC Thunder win because we just want to see more ball. We don't really, I don't think, we don't have a leg in this race. We don't. We just want to see more ball. So yeah. I hope OKC wins uh, tomorrow. I almost don't even care if it's a good game. I, I don't care. I just want game sevens to be good games. Yeah, that's man. all I want. That's all you want, right? Yeah. We we just want good game sevens. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Follow on everything. And we'll talk again on either we'll do Sunday night pod or we'll do like a Monday morning because it's the holidays for us out here. So we may do something like that. We had to pick or choose, especially Monday, if there's a bunch of game sevens. Let's, let's give them that Monday brunch. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm really thinking. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk again. Peace.